Welcome to Full Stack PHP Web Development Course. CSS selectors. CSS selectors are used to find or select the HTML elements you want to style. We can divide CSS selectors into five categories. Number one, simple selectors. Select elements based on name, ID, class. Number two, combinator selectors. Select elements based on a specific relationship between them. Number three, pseudo class selector. Select elements based on a certain state. Number four, pseudo elements selectors. Select and style a part of an element. And number five and final is attribute selectors. Selects elements based on an attribute or attribute value. In this chapter, we will explain most basic uh, CSS selector. The CSS element selector. The element selector selects uh, HTML elements based on the element name. For example, here all P elements on the page will be center aligned with the red text color. So, the text of uh, this code is element name, start and then CSS rule name, then its value, another CSS rule name and its value then closing the CSS statement. Let us try to understand it by example. We have three paragraph element on our pages. We want to style all of the P element. So I will use this P element will start and will give the text align CSS style and its value center. Then let me to change its color to red and then I will close CSS rule. After I execute the code, execute the code, it will center a land and will give red color to all paragraph elements. The CSS ID selector. The ID selector uses the ID attribute of an HTML element to select a specific element. The ID of an element is unique within a page. So the ID selector is used to select one unique element. To select an element with a specific ID, write a hash character followed by the ID of the element. Here is a syntax, the hash, then the ID of that element. This will select the element with this ID. Let us try to understand by an example. If I give an ID to a paragraph, the para1, and I use this paragraph ID by hash and then the ID of that element, what it will do? It will only apply the CSS to this element and not other P elements. When I run, you will see this paragraph has been applied the CSS while other paragraphs are not applied CSS. The CSS class selector. The CSS class selector selects an HTML element with a specific class attribute. To select element with a specific class, write a period dot character followed by the class name. For example, in this example, all HTML elements with the class name center will be red and center aligned. Let us try to understand by an example. If I give a class name to this P element and I can use same class name 
produce p element now i will use this class element this class now i will use this class name to apply css to all paragraphs dot para now when i will execute the code it will apply the css to all paragraph which has the class para if i remove this class to any of them any one of them then it will not apply the css to that element the css universal selector the universal selector static selects the all html element on the page no matter those are head body heading paragraph table div tags it will apply css to all element on that page the css grouping selector the grouping selector selects all the html element with the, the same style definition look at the following example the h1 h2 the p element have the same style definitions to group selectors separate each selector with a comma in this example we have grouped the selector from the uh, code above which has minimized the code let us try to understand by an example i am uh, copy pasting the code and changing the tags if i run there is no css applied to h1 rather i will use h1 h2 and paragraph to apply the same style to all these three elements now all the element has been applied the same css so actually the elements are being grouped in one single stack and it will minimize your code